Hello, this is Rajiv, and I have a very special message for all the children and the sons and daughters of my closest friends who are all graduating this year, uh, some from high school and some from college. And I want to congratulate you on your achievement. This is big. And if you're graduating from high school and going to college, this is very, very important milestone for your life. And it is not to be taken lightly. So first of all, it's going to be a lot of fun when you do not have the restrictions that your mom and dad put on you as you were in high school. So though it's very exciting, but it is also very dangerous because now you are responsible. You are responsible for your actions. You are responsible for your decisions. You are responsible for everything that you do. And you got to exercise that responsibility very carefully. So I've got some suggestions for you as you go to the new phase of your life. Number one is develop winning habits. Your habits are your best friend and they can also become your worst enemy. So make sure that you choose habits which are going to help you to achieve the dreams that you have for yourself. So what are some of the good habits that you can have? Make sure that hard work is a, is a part of who you are. Whatever you want to do, if hard work becomes your habit, it's very easy to achieve any goal that you have. And then the only thing which is important is that, hey, what do you want to do? The second suggestion is that find your unique ability. What is your superpower? What makes you special? What do others trust you for? What is that unique thing that you bring to the table that people really depend upon you for that? And make sure that you package it in a way so that it can help others. So once a unique ability becomes a unique capability, then you can charge for it. And that is how you can build your reputation and become successful in the marketplace. Number three, examine your relationships. We all need friends and relationships to survive and make life meaningful and happy. But you got to ask yourself, are my relationships making a better version of who I want to be? Or are they really bringing me down to the lowest common denominator? And it's very important that you answer these questions and choose people who really elevate you to and help you grow to the next level. Some of your best friends might not be very uh, polite. Some of them might challenge you to achieve bigger goals. But just because they are not very nice to you in their words, that does not uh, negate what they have. So in general, they must be encouraging and in, in, in general, they must encourage you and celebrate your unique offering. But they will always not be uh, afraid of you to tell you the hard truth. So make sure that you've got people like that in your circle. Number four is that you got to examine and trust your inner voice. So many times your inner voice knows yourself and it will tell you to do the right thing. But we that inner voice gets dampened by the noise of the external input that you have. So make sure that you always listen and trust your, to your inner voice. So as I said, Remember these habits. Number one is uh, develop winning habits. This is suggestion number one. Number two is find your unique ability. Why is that important to find your unique ability and your unique passion? Because 85% of the people report that they are unhappy in their jobs. You do not want to be one of those 85%. And unless you are very careful about your choices and very careful about understanding who you are, you will become a part of the statistic. Number three, examine your relationships because your relationships will determine who you are going to be. Somebody, I think it was Charlie Tremendous Jones who said that your future depends upon the books that you read and the friends that you have. Number four, trust your inner voice. Your inner voice will always know what is good for you and make sure that you listen to it and don't drown it in the noise of the world. So congratulations. And remember these four suggestions. I wish you all the best and I look forward to hearing great successes and great achievements in your life. Take care and all the best.